Hello traders, FS Collector here. Today is Monday, November 18th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But also, don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course are included for only $30 per month. So anyways, on the pound dollar, it definitely looks like we are going down. I think that this is probably easier seen on the weekly time frame, but I think this is like a double three pattern. I think it's probably going to go down and either make a lower high for an expanding flat or possibly a higher high for a running flat. Let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, now, especially looking at the euro dollar, I'm pretty confident about this count because this is impulsive down, three waves up, impulsive down. So there's your first three waves, and then impulsive up, three waves down, impulsive up. That's your second three waves. Most likely we're in a one, two, three, four, five of a running flat, which would likely make a higher high, higher high, and then go back up. Or we're in five waves down for more of an expanding flat, which would make a lower high before it continued back up. Either way, it's most likely going to continue to go down for at least some time. Heading down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I'm very confident that we're in a wave 3 right now. It looks like a wave 1, a wave 2, and we're very likely in that wave 3. If this is a wave 3, then we most likely have a lot of downside potential left. Wave 3s are supposed to be the biggest, strongest wave of a trend, and we're not even to the 78% Fibonacci extension yet. So we very likely have a lot of downside potential left. Going down to the 4-hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, we are definitely continuing to make lower lows, lower highs. Our last swing high that would tell us that the trend is not down anymore is right there. So as long as that does not break, then very likely we're in a wave 3. So this would be a 1, 2, 3 of wave 3. Which means we definitely should continue to trade with the trend on shorter time frames. Heading down to the 1-hour time frame. On the 1-hour time frame, like I said, this is my little area right here that would tell me that this trend is over. Now, if price goes up and breaks above that really strong, then I definitely would turn into a buyer. But for me, I am definitely looking for sorts right now. It does kind of look to me like it could pop up a little bit, but if it does go up and hit one of these Fibonacci levels, that's great news for us, because if it makes an engulfing impulse to move down at a Fibonacci level, then I definitely would take it as another sorting opportunity for the continuation of the downtrend. So definitely looking for sorts unless or until we get a break of starter to the upside. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.